Hello friends, welcome to Hooky Demi. Today we are going to discuss or going to learn about the civil estimation for a pharmaceutical industrial plant as well as utility building required for the pharmaceutical plant and the administrative office at plant. We are also going to learn the civil estimation for ancillary buildings of the plant building and the infrastructure facilities at the plant building like surrounding roads, parking areas, logistic arrangements as well as the compound wall. I hope you all gone through the drawings provided here with as well as the walkthrough presentation given for this plant area, this plant building and the adjoining facilities. Now we are starting by reviewing the plant building as well as the utility building and the administrative office building block. We will take the overview of this building and then we will start our estimation. Here is the AutoCAD 2D plan for the plant building or we can say overall site layout. This is the cursor is showing the entrance area or entrance main entry gate for this plant building. There is a security cabin as well as the administrative cabin for security and the adjoining cab toilet facilities for security guards at the gate. This hatch is showing the road RCC road or Trimix road surrounding the entire building for logistic movement. In the front we can see the parking for vehicles of staff as well as the owner or chairman and managing directors cars. This is the administrative building, administrative office building block. Welcome friends. Up to previous lecture, we have discussed about measurement sheet and taken all the measurements with details available. Today, we are going to discuss about the abstract sheet. Abstract sheet is basically for deriving the amounts from the quantity measurement taken in measurement sheet and preparing the summary for various cost centers or various heads which will be executed during the construction process of the particular project. So here is the format for abstract sheet. The first column is serial number, the second column is item description, the third number is unit of measurement, the fourth number is quantity, the next is rate or prevailing market rate in your local area and the final is amount. Now we have section wise item descriptions which already we gone through the unit of measurement and the quantities we have derived in our measurement sheet. So we have directly take inputs from measurement sheet over here. The rates are prevailing market rates in our particular region. The rates may be differ region to region and time to time. So by applying multiplication formula for quantity and rates, we will be getting the amount for particular item. Thus we can get the item wise amounts and by adding these uh, section wise amounts we can get section total so here we have a section B for earthwork and the total amount total estimated amount for section B is 64,7807 
Hokidemi, shaping professionals for a better future. Hokidemi is aiming to be the world's largest learning platform for engineers and architects. 